Hi guys, this is Mr. G. All right, so we're on 1.7, example two, C and D, the front page. Okay, we already did A and B, and now we're gonna go on to C. So what we're figuring out here is if it's a function or if it's a relation, okay? I'll get more into an explanation in a little bit, okay? But let's just go ahead and do it. Let's uh, go ahead and dive right in and do it, and then I'll give you guys an explanation. So we found these two, okay? This is a function, this is a relation. Okay, let's go on to C. So again, let's draw a little graph here. Okay, and then this is a little bit of review, okay? Now, if you guys remember this, these are your X's. X, 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 X. And then this is your Y. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and draw these. So two, one. So two, one, something right there. Okay. Three, negative two. So somewhere right there. And then three, one. And then two, negative two. So it looks like we have something like this. Something like that. Let me erase this one here, oops. Erase that. Okay, so it looks like that. Okay. So this is a relation. Relation. Okay. So it's two, one, three, negative two, three, one, and then two, negative two. Okay. Then let's go ahead and do the last one, D. So again, we're going to go ahead and draw a little mini graph. Okay. So negative two, negative three. So negative two, negative three. Now, like I told you guys, it doesn't have to be exact, guys. Okay, we're not doing this exact. Uh, we're this is just for uh, illustration purposes. Okay. So negative two, negative three, and then zero, six, and then three, six, And then four, nine, somewhere up there. So it goes like this, then straight, then up, up like that. Oops. Up, straight, and then up, like that. All right. Now, this is a function. Okay. Now, Function, relation, relation, function. See if you can find the pattern, okay? Pause the video. Okay. The reason why these two are relations is because there's a vertical line here. There's a vertical line. This makes a vertical line. This makes two vertical lines. Right here, there's no vertical line anywhere. It's making it. It's actually a continuous uh, flow of it. See, it's going down. This one, it's actually going up and going this way. Going not completely vertical. It's, it has a slope, and then it goes straight, and then it goes slopes back up again. Okay? So this is a relation, relation, function, function. Let's answer the question on the side. What must occur in order for a relation to be a function? So for a relation to be a function, there cannot be vertical points. There can't be vertical points. In other words, one input, one output. One input, one output. Okay, simple. One input, one output. Right here, one input, two outputs. So relation, relation. All right? 